Ja, all is good, man. All is good. Can I do a lot of tomorrow? Welcome to the game of life. At kickoff, it's nil nil. What you do next decides the result. Make a good decision, you're ahead. Make a mistake, you're chasing. You need a good plan and a great team behind you. Live a life of confidence, today and every day. Round two of the Salama Puolanta top 12 tournament and this afternoon we are 110 kilometers out of table view and today it's a darling visiting Saldana both of them are having lost their first game but today the pin that are going against Saldana we have the same starting row but just a jersey change with Chadwin Robertson in the middle wearing number 18 today and not number two because apparently the jersey is tight so he's swapping that jersey and of course a couple of changes as well in the back line for Darling, a positional changes rather, where Al Daniels goes to a left wing. Chad McKay keeps his spot in the inside centre position. And Captain Earl Lewis, who was a pivot in the first round, has moved to outside centre. And at the back, you have JP Abrahams moving from outside centre uh, from last week. 
On the bench, relatively the same, but just a few changes. Um, in, the, in the bench, or rather, Bomb Squad, as Darling are looking to claim their first win in this second round with Lion Mathais wearing the number two jersey. In the front row, Gideon Andrews and Chester Gordon, as well as in the back, you have Renfred Adams, who has a standout performer last week. And Ethan Sias drops to the bench after starting at scrum off, but makes way for Ernesto uh, Warnick and Jaden Lewis at 23. And as we wait for the home side to see their team and the host can you take us through that home side home well and welcome here in a lekker winnerig is al dan abai waar die gees hooglop hier buite met die skare wat saam drom om te sien of hulle thuis van sal dan abai kan reg maar verspeel vir verspeel kanse laas week en die manne van daling wat net die oor die bal play maar Hello, hulle ook recht maak na hulle verloor van 1 punt laas week. Maar kom ons loer hier na die Saldana baie span. Voorlangs, Nicolas de Beer, Divan Joshua, die kaptein, en Heinrich Heinze, wat voorlangs wat. Ngeleto Jose en Johan Lou, wat achter hulle sal sak in die vaste skrim. En dan op die flanke het ons vir Ronaldo Brown, Emil Boysen, en dan een gesoute man, John van der Venten, die nummer 8 trui. Dan achterlangs, Monre Jacobs sal die win sal skoon maak en hy sal vir Marius Vivier in die nummer 10 trui sien. Dan op die vleels het ons die spoed verhaal uit Jaden Lewis en Mikael Hanse wat ook al handvol is daar op die nummer 14 trui. Dan binne het ons vir Tyron Abelse en Rotwal Jonkers op centers met Brent Manuel in die nummer 15 trui wat daar achterlang sal skoon maak. Dan het ons een paar gesoute manne daar ook op die bank met Ati Maguala, Gerf Gertse, Rian Vraagholm, Abdur Agman, Latif en dan een laat plaatsvervanger Gersten Goura wat ook daar sal instap. En dus as we wait for the teams to make their way, but before that we are just going to prepare for the national anthem which will be sung as part of the commemoration of the Springboks who are going battle against the biggest rival in the game, the All Blacks tonight. And I hope you guys are as, not as anxious as I am because this whole week we were just uh, <laughs> sweating each and every day as we wait for that game. But before we get to start to France, we are focusing right here in Saldana Bay as the Boerlanta top 12, or rather the Sandlam of Boerlanta top 12 is underway with the round two. Ja, dan wil ons ook net voor, voor ons begin dankie sê weer eens aan al die sponsors wat hierdie jaar betrokken geraak het. Techie Town, Umbro, Wuma, Sanlam, Santam, yes, daar is soveel mense wat betrokken geraak het, Kaap Agri. En dan natuurlijk ons nieuwe sponsor van die week af, Toza, wat moet ons ook nie vergeet nie. Dankie dat jylle allemaal aan boord gekom het hierdie jaar om hierdie ding vir allemaal moendlik te maak. Want soos ons allemaal weet, Boland top 12 gaan net van kracht na kracht elke jaar. En ons sal sien of die manne van Saldana dit het drie kinds kan maak en het derde keer in een rij kan win. Well of course, the rugby action which started last week does carry on today in Saldana Bay. Where Saldana will play host to Darling who wanted to win the tide or rather to turn the tide as they went down to Horston in round at one. Saldana, though, had a glorious opportunity to register their first win against Robertson Town in round one. And today, one of them will get their campaign back on track. They'll have to do that, though, in a sunny and a very windy Saldana Bay. No rain is expected, except for start to France for the Rugby World Cup final later this evening. Well, folks, and of course, as you've heard, the man who's going to teach me Afrikaans as the tournament progresses, Heinrich Gauss, who's a former Grecos player and a Borokam Cup winner. Meneer, alles is goed vandaag. Sito, ja, baie, baie dankie. Ja, dit is heerlik om hier te wees vandag. Soos jy genoem het, dit is sonnig, maar lekker winderig hier so. So, ja, nie, dit sal interessant wees om te sien wat die span het gemaakt met die bal in die eerste helfte. Die span wat saam met die wind gaan speel, sal moet seker maak, hulle speel in die rechte kant van die veld en die bal op die voet sit. Span tegen die wind, bal in die hand probeer hou. Het gaan toch moeilik wees in die lijn staan, maar ja, ons sal maar sien wat geweer met die bal in die hand. Ja, Heinrich, so let's just quickly chat about the changes, especially from the visiting side, darling. You can see that Ferdinand Daniels will be the pivot today, and Ernesto Warnick replaces Ethan Sias at Scrum Off, Scrum Off rather, who drops to the bench. 
as well as the captain Earl Lewis with the positional switch to 13 uh, who was from who was playing fly off in round one and of course as well uh, Abrahams who slots in at fullback where Ralph Daniels are slot in at left wing last week so I spoke to the coach just before uh, we went live and he did mention the fact that the positional changes are not based uh, on round one but rather just for tactical I'm not sure if maybe the wind is also going to be a factor what are your thoughts on that yeah, op einde van die dag, taktisch moet jy jou spel verbeter. Dinge wat net verkeerd gegaan het in die kant van Daling laas week. Twee onderskep, drie wat tegen hulle gegaan het. Die same spel wat net, net so nou en dan nie daar was vir hulle nie. Die communicatie wat so bykie geglip het. Soos ons het sien het hulle uh, vleel op die dag. Gerard Karolis wat uitstaande speler was. Wanneer hy die bal wel in die hand gehad het. En op die einde van die dag, daar een punt verskil wat toe op die einde van die dag ingekryp het en net vir hulle die wedstrijd gekos het. So, ja, ek dink, um, kaptein Neil Papier het gevoel, hierdie week net so piekie meer uh, key spelers in die belangrike posities, soos om, by die scanner op nummer 13 te en dan ook nou vir JP Abrams daar op heel achter te en net om piekie meer kalmte van achteraf te bring, aangezien hy ook een groot voet aan hom het. 100% and folks don't go anywhere go get your coffee go get your favorite beverage make some popcorn and don't go anywhere as the action will commence after this ad break right. who are we we are the alarm at 4 30 a.m we are practice before school and after work. We are fitness goals. We are goals. We are focused. Balanced. Relentless. We are real. And real sees real. We are you. Rachel Saldana Bay as the teams have made their way to the field. Saldana Bay hosting a darling. Both of them going down in the first round. They'll be looking to make sure they get their campaign back on track in very very windy conditions so to be very interesting to see what the back three from both teams will manage with this win but as the first half is about to start you see that uh, darling have got the win right behind them so the pressure you might think that uh, soldado will face in the first half yeah and you can see me from the right lens for the wind stark stark while i fly the young man with the fly in the hand but must knip on fast now and i fly when they good gaan ver ver vlieg vandaag Ja, Daling in swart truie vandag en die manne van Saldana in hulle oorspronkelijke blau en rooi truie. Soos jy genoem het, sal dit interessant wees om te sien wat gaan hulle maak met die bal <coughs> en skies toch en met die wind achter hulle gaan dit interessant wees, want die bal mag al te ver vlieg vandag. En dan moet ons ook sê, ons het een gesoute jong man wat vandag ook dienst gaan doen in die middel. Bradley Roos wat gaan dienst doen Bradley Kotze verskoning, Bradley Kotze, jong man met baie talent. Het sal interessant wees om te sien hoe hy hierdie wedstrijd sal hanteer. And you can see here with the conditions, the flag bearers are struggling to keep that flag upright because of the strength of the wind or rather the speed of the wind. But that's not going to deter us from enjoying some great rugby this afternoon on the west coast. And if you are wondering where we, to catch us, you can catch us on Club Rugby Live. This would not be possible if it wasn't for the major sponsors that are involved. I take my hand off to Salama, Santam, Bumatel, as well as Taki Town. Also not forgetting Umbro and the new boy in the hood joining the sponsorship panel, Twizza, all the way from my hometown in Queenstown in the 045. Yeah, it's always nice to you too. So as I say, that it's always lekker om to see that new people nog aan boord come. It's nooit te laat om in te koop in een goeie project nie. Ons het vroeger gehoor die jaar dat die nieuwe borge wat aan betrokken gaan raak het by Boland Rugby, wat Boland Rugby van kracht na kracht gaan stoot. Het sal interessant wees om te sien wat in die volgende 2 tot 5 jaar gaan gebeur in hierdie Boland Top 12, maar ons gloor af van die mense wat nou aan boord gekom het gaan Boland Rugby een van die top inies in die, in die land maak. 
100% and while we wait for the teams to line up for the national anthem just quickly touch base on what happened on the first round just to get some stats we are aware that Saldana went down last weekend to Robinson Town 25 points to 24 they had a beautiful opportunity to snatch that game at the death but I mean of course a matter of wrong decisions being made but of course they will learn from that today as well as Darling losing 40 points to 39 to visiting Austin last week in Darling and of course between these two teams there is some history proud history in fact in 2018 though Saldana won that game 47 points to 31 and just recently 2022 it was a 16 all draw so today you might think that Saldana has that slight advantage but both desperate teams looking to get their campaign back on track and also not forgetting the star players who were prolific last week in the first round. Joaquin or Jacqueline Janssen, who also played his trade for Buenan Cavaliers from Saldana. And also Gareth Carolas, not many opportunities last week though, but with ball in hand he showed how deadly he is. Yeah, see you. It's interesting to see. The men who have been made for the team, we all know Die mannen van Saldana is moeilijk om te kloppen hier op een thuisveld. Maar op de einde van die dag, uh, rugby bal is niet rond nie. Die balance of the ball zal altijd die winner bepalen. Ze zullen zeggen, mannen wat hulle kansen gaan gebruik, zal hier die wedstrijd beklink. En het is ook lekker om zo so te zien dat Boland van die Bolandse top. Mannen, hier so is om vandaag ook hier die wedstrijd bij te wonen, meneer Benny van Roy en een paar van die, van die andere mannen wat Samatom op die Boland Raad team. 100% and of course discipline will be a major factor today between these two teams as Saldana conceded 12 penalties last week as, and compared to a darling six penalties which were conceded. However in the set pieces the scrums Saldana showed their true dominance as they won all nine of their scrums last week and as well as darling also showing their strength in their pack winning all nine of their scrums. Well darling however did struggle with their lineups only getting a 67% that's four lineups out of six so They'll be looking to fix that matter today in a very awkward weather though, especially for the hookers with so much wind. And I mean, of course, with Saldana only having one turnover last week. But of course, Saldana is unbeaten at home. They've never lost at home. And of course, Saldana has never won here in Saldana. Do you think that's probably playing a major factor in the mindset from Saldana? Um, yeah, I think Darling, the Darling Sunny is the feel fun that Mark the Soos ons genoem het, dit is een game van twee helft, is, dit is enige manse game op die dag, hang af wat jy maak met die bal. Daar, Daling en Saldana het al twee verloor van een punt gehad, maar ek is seker dat Van Daling sal wil terugslaan en seker maak het vir sy in hulle koppen nie. 100% and uh, as we prepare for the national anthem to be sung, just before that I have to make special mention and how classic and how stylish our MCs are today. Talk about class. The national anthem is about to be sung. Cosi Sigalela e Africa.
got a lovely rendition of the national anthem of South Africa. I just got goosebumps to just listen to that. I can't wait for later this evening. But my excitement at the moment is right here in Saldana Bay as we prepare for round two of the Salam Boland Top 12, where we have the host, Saldana, uh, up against the visiting team, Darling Black Magic, as it is affectionately known. Ja, meneer Benny van Rooij, wat net so vinnig paar van die manne goos voet toe wens voor hierdie krachtweting. Hy het ook vroeger van my genoem dat hy weet hierdie gaan een titanische strijd wees. Al my spanne sal wel terugslaan in hierdie toernooi. Elke span het net vier wedstrijde, sorry, vijf wedstrijde om te speel. So, dit is van kardinale belang dat jy jou thuiswedstrijde en jou enige wedstrijd althans beklink, want op die einde van die dag, net na een punt wat jy te min aangeteken het, kan die verskil maak tussen die top vier, top vier plek in die semifinale of nie. And of course, what's the biggest rugby tournament in Boerland without the president, the presence rather, of the president of the Boerland Rugby Union. It was such an honor uh, meeting him earlier today, Mr. Benny van Rooyen. I was having a joke with him that uh, he, back in the days he probably looked like a prominent tight head. <laughs> yeah, man. You see, too, looks can be deceiving, so let's all say. Munia man, so kite me. What a champion. Top quality man. But back to the action, folks. I hope you guys are ready and set as we are about to embark on a round two of the Salama Boalanta Top 12 tournament. Where the conditions are looking spectacular, just to wind up being in favour of the visitors in this first half. And the crowd, the home faithfuls, are there in their numbers here in full support. And I'm sure they are expecting their home side to be unbeaten here at home. Yeah, that will be a great, great wedstrijd wees vandaag. Physische spel wat ons kan verwacht voorlangs. Al by spanne wat sal wel probeer domineer voorlangs. En seker maak hulle... Ach, man, wat voor begin, ga niet stempel afdruk in. Dan natuurlijk zal we albei alle spoedvol gebruiken in achterling. Paar gezonde mannen, wat ons kan zien wat oren kan plaatsen in die punten aan te gaan. And we are about to get underway. Are your grapes out? Are your oranges ready? Is your glass full? It's time for the Salam of Boerland Top 12 with J P Abrahams with setting us underway and here we go in round two and the kickoff not the greatest of start though from the host Saldana as they let the ball bounce and now the real estate opportunity is with the visitors yeah so amperkies amperkies when i ball net anders op in aangezien hulle ongeloos het kon dit al gevaar voorspel het hulle is nou vast gepenny en hulle kwaar gebied sal so moet sal moet wegkom hier Joshua, the captain, finds was looking for his jumper, Uyose, but he manages to get the ball back. A strong run from Saldana, still in there, 22. Well passing there from uh, Mondre Jacobs to his pod. Saldana Bay is still in possession of the ball, but looks like it's been held up by Darling. Very well defending there on the fringes from Chadwin Robinson. Jacobs digs for the ball. Out to his flower from Phileas, Marius Phileas. Saldana still in there, 22. Jacobs to Phileas again, who sends the ball out for the safety of the touch. Yeah, so as we can see, the wind is very strong and we have to do something to do with that one and we have to win the jag. Not much field to win. Now it's Daling that can lead. It's interesting to see what they're going to do in the first line stand with the wind that is behind their legs. Chadwin Robinson with his first throw. They'll be looking to improve today. Well, their first attempt, they lose it. Well, Saldana will be very fortunate there, will feel very lucky that uh, they managed to dodge that bullet. Chadwick Robinson trying to fight against nature, but of course the wind had won that battle. But I mean, of course, this will be a very interesting point as both teams had perfect scrums last week. As we prepare for the first scrum today, what are you thinking, Andre? Yeah, all the packers will try to get the to the All the spanning is a good scrum. Saldana, but... Technisch laas weer gesukkel het in scrums, maar tweede helft het toe hulle plaasvangers op om toe te hulle hulle stempel afgedruk en teruggeslaan in die krachtwetting. Jacobs with the feed, it's a solid scrum from Darling, the second shove, and of course they maintain their momentum from the first round with a dominant shove in the scrum. Well, Saldana's first loss in the scrum, 
and Darling maintain their perfect start to the tournament with yet another telling scrum. Lewis finds touch just between the trial line and the 22. There'll be nervous minds there in the Darling pack as their first line out was unsuccessful. Chadwick Robinson will try and find the first line. Getting the call for Martinez. Some variation, good simplicity, well collected from Martinez. He has to try and get to the ground before they turn it over here. Saldana doing very well to try and push them into the touch line, but Darling controlling it very well. Warnick finds Martinez. Skepis again. Finds Kleopas. No big upon this, John Samuels. Sultana Bay on, holding on for defense. Skippers digging for that ball, taking his time. And he finds his man, Mitchum Fortain, who does very well to stay on his feet, though, but well collected or defended rather from Sultana. Skippers again with that inside pass. Uh, George Gregan, for those who are wondering what that was. Uh, Robinson does proper carry as he gets close to the five meter line. Slow patience and building up with the phases. Is Darling a strong runner? Is a Solomon. Well made on defense from Saldana. Martinez with yet another carry. This dominant carry there. Gets over the five meter line. Darling are smelling blood. Skippers digging for the ball. He finds uh, the eighth man, the big man. Wilton Marsh driven back in the tackle, but the ref has his arm out though. Skippers with a cross kick. Is the winner taking over? Great contest in the air, but uh, the ref says let's go back for the advantage in favor of the visitors. But Saldana wat hulle keer ten so ver ook goed op verdediging. Maar Saldana, ach Daling wat hulle groot manne gebruik om die meters te win. En op die einde kree hulle die straatskop met die ongedwonge fout met die hoogvat daar so. En het sal interessant wees om te sien of hulle vroeg die punte sal probeer aan tekening so. Early pressure in this first half. Daling have been camping in the Saldana 22 for the past couple or so minutes, but doing very well though to remain strong on defense, defending very well in the close quarters and in the racks, the pillar and post, doing very well there, not to get sold by that dummy that was from Skippers with that Gregan giving it to Robinson. Really? Okay. But then of course, with another opportunity here, they're probably asking themselves, should they go for a touch or maybe get the first points? Samuels with a quick tap, lovely variation, Darling edging closer to the trial line. They've been held up there and they're going over, it's Darling. Sometimes holding up but not at all as the ref gets his arm out. Darling with the first points. Lacquer, Swiss, a cracker, great variation from the visiting team. The try score there, we're just waiting to see the visuals as who the try score is and it looks like, judging from the jog, it's Wilden Marsh, the Darling eighth man. Great start from the visitors. Yeah, good job. It was a 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 good job. And the crowd is getting riled up. The home crowd not losing any hope as yet. It's still the early stages of this game with Earl Lewis looking to add the extras. Lewis, lovely strike, and the flags are up. Darling leading early in this first half for seven points to no. Yeah, good begin for the men of Darling. But you know, they had the last week in the last week, where they played on the front foot, with the ball in the hand, and they played to be vroeg in die kracht met hem wat hulle een onderscheep drie tegen hulle gekry het. Hierdie keer maak hulle seker hulle hou die bal kort voor langs en hulle het hierdie keer vroeg hulle drie gaan aanteken. 100% and we look uh, there seems to be a player down uh, from Darling just waiting to see the number as to who it may be but doesn't look serious just to uh, get some strapping on the, the knee. There's John Samuels and uh, as we get to it for the restart, and we are underway courtesy of uh, Marius Filius, but sends the ball directly 
into touch. Well, you won't be uh, impressed with that, but uh, getting some handshakes from his team just to tell him to do better next time and not to worry about that. But Darling will not worry about that as they found themselves with a 50-meter scrum, or rather scrum on the 50-meter with options on either side. <laughs> Options on either side, you can see the darling backline is scattered evenly on either side, creating doubt for the defence, but you can see Saldana overpopulating on the open side, on the far left rather. And uh, Ferdinand Daniels directly behind that scrum. I'm sure there'll be some variation. Warnick with the feed. Slow and steady. Was out Marsh. Warnick behind to Daniels. Grab it down, but it's going to be well covered by Manuel. Brent Manuel, his first touch though, well met on defense, but uh, illegal to swim according to the ref. Saldana will be very happy with that call. After sustaining so much pressure, or rather absorbing so much pressure, to get an opportunity to go visit the estate down Darling. Yeah, percent <laughs> and usually when you play against the wind, don't try and kick too high, kick hard and low. Just try and get much meters. Phileas here. Fifth yeah, the number 10, the pivot from Saldana was trying to get some distance, but the wind won that battle. Just uh, a few meters before the halfway line, Devon Joshua, the captain, will have his second uh, throw in the line out. Hundred percent, and uh, there's just a bit of a stoppage here. Not tight bodies, I'm, I'm afraid. Divan, well gathered. Jacobs, Fifas, short pass to the pot that was running there. Well met there from the darling though. Jacobs again, looking for Jose. Finds him strong carry, gains valuable meters. They're playing safe side. Jacobs again skips her and finds Manuel, who does very well to slither through. He's like a bar of soap, but has been in mid 10 to touch. Oh, he's like Mark Talea. If you can't get him, he's going to slid off your hands. Robertson getting the call from Kelvin Martinez. For his second throw, finds Marsh, well collected by Warnick. Well, the wind is having a major roll here. Marsh doing very well to kick it downfield, though. Finds Manuel, who looks to counter. Makes the pass out wide to Hansa. Hansa, Hansa, but bigger than Shane and Lewis. The player to watch, gaining valuable meters. Kicking it downfield, though, and losing it. But how is that wind? Yeah, that is so good, Flex Terka, so by this is so good, no more. It's all better to be on the ball, short to hold, short passes, now by your car to stand. The gap is all self up, ski da, so for you, up as you you, crack a break. But yeah, better on the long passes and the gini, because it makes it not so much danger. Dolling with another opportunity at the scrum. Well, at this point in time, it's still a, a seesaw battle. No clear dominance as yet from either side. Conditions are looking treacherous right there on the field. Darling have the advantage though with having the wind behind them. One with the feed. Solid scrum. And they look for the second shove. Down the line they go. Daniels makes the switch with the McKay. Gaining valuable meters. Creeping close to the 10 meter line. Warnick finding for Dane. No, that is Samuels, rather. Still not making the 10-meter line. Robinson, well met on defense from Sultana. One nick again. The wind just takes the ball up and has been collected by Sultana in unfashionable manner. 
The wind is causing problems here, but Manuel will cause more problems here for the defense. Manuel again. Someone stop him, please. Still creeping close to the 10 meter line. Jacobs fighting Fifas out wide to their 14. Mikhail Hansa well met there between the 10 meter and half meter line. Jacobs digging for the ball, finding Fifas. Flat pass, and not knowing who is passing to though. Met well by the leg there, Johan Lowe. His first carry of the game. Jacobs again finding Fifas. Here we go, another strong carry. Is a captain at Gibraltar, Joshua. Well met on defense by Darling. Fifas again. Distribute, working for the inside pass, but well met on defense. Saldana still strong though, and the attack has been turned over. That is a ferocious tackle by Walden Marsh. G was. Darling, we probeer het om my bal lang aangeet te gee daar so. So ja, en Saldana wat met hewige druk daar van die verdedigingslijn op, wat opgeskiet het, ge, geontmoet was en wat ongelukkig die bal besit daar verloor. Not sure why we are making long passes, but uh, there's a wind that you're playing against. Probably still trusting their systems and looking to turn the tide. But at the moment, Darling with yet another feed which will be reset. The crowd are raising the volume in support of Sultana, who remain unbeaten at home. But as it stands, that unbeaten record is in jeopardy. Warnick with the feed. Solid scrum yet again from Darling. Marsh just fielding at the back. The arm is out. Warnick, he goes by himself. He's like a ball of soap. Sunlight today. Over the 10 meter line, and Darling finds themselves. Mitchum Fortain was looking to take it up, but uh, Cleopas does it instead. Oh, Lewis just marshalling the, pro the props. Samuels, another strong carry. Over the 10 meter line, they go. Getting the inches, Riff has his arm out again. Saldana need to be wary of the penalty count at this stage. Another strong carry from Fortain. He's in the mood today. Saldana holding on for dear life. Darling with some good real estate. Samuels with another carry. He's in the mood today, definitely. Warnick to his captain, Lewis, show and go. Doesn't gain much meters though, well met on defense. Strong defense save from here on low. Warnick again. Marsh with another carry, show and go, goes by himself, but well met by the captain. Darling just building the phases, trying to keep it slow and simple as possible. Warnick to Verdina, show and go, yet again, well met on defense from Soldana. Playing same side, but they're going to go to the opposite now, courtesy of Warnick's decision. Back to Marsh, well met again, not getting much ground though. Slow call. Warnick. With the cross kick, I'm not sure if that was intentional, but uh, regathered from the Sultana, Levin, uh, Jaden Lewis, but fumbling it. Sultana, get out of jail, free card. Talon Abel says first carry today. Gets over the halfway line, 22 meter line rather. You're saying, out wide, Sultana. Head down is the call from Rodman Yonkers, who still goes. Oh my word, that is Mikhail Hansa. Kasmaki said, oh my word, at the back door was the call, but they're juggling it. What a sensational piece of play from Mikhail Hansa, who managed to find Rodney Yonkers. Or rather, Yonkers was the one who yeah, found Mikhail Hansa in close quarters. Oh, what a fantastic play from Saldana, using their offloads, using their skill set to try and break the very strong defensive line that comes with Darling, getting some valuable real estate in Darling's territory. Yes, the mark. But unfortunately, that was a, a five-pointer written all over it. Who are we? We are the alarm at 4.30 a.m. To connect with his palms. But Vumatel is connecting us today. Darling with the feed just outside that 22-meter line. 
Saldana will look to try and get one back. Warnick with the feed. Well, it goes sideways. Darling managing to scramble to secure that ball. Saldana trying to flock though, but staying very strong as Darling, and it's been turned over illegally so by Johan Lowe. And conceding a penalty at that. So, Biki on the other side, so we must not be more calm to give us that so for the for the right time. But what was not here, it was not in the hand. What on can't can. Oh, using the wind to great effect. Is JP Abraham takes the team right out of their half and into the ten meter line, or rather just over the ten meter line in Sultana Bay's estate. With another opportunity at the line out, they'll be very nervous. They haven't won their lineouts as yet. It's still not from two. And being a hooker myself, I know how frustrated I can get. You can make that one from two as Robertson finds his jumper, or rather, Niels Solomon. Wanek digging for that ball. Finds Robertson. Strong carry from the big hooker. As they try to apply more pressure, courtesy of John Samuels, chapter 1, verse 16. Warnick with the pass out wide to Fertin Daniels. Inside pass to McKay. Strong on his feet and here he goes. Held up though, but finally gets to ground. Warnick looking for options. Got to Marsh. Oh my word, bumper to bumper. Heavy traffic right now in this 22 meter line as they creep closer. The captain, Lewis, mixing the ball around. Not much support there, but manages to get over the 22 meter line. Warnick under pressure from the counter from Saldana, but still in possession is a darling. Digging for the ball is Fertin Daniels. Taking one for the team. Finds Samuels yet again with another sermon right now and wins the penalty for his team. Yeah, very interesting call. Earl Lewis, they've got the seven point advantage. Now, just to build that scoreboard pressure, because I'm sure that they are away. The second half, it will be very difficult uh, playing against the wind. So, racking up as much points as possible while you still have the wind behind you. And as they look to add the three points to make it 10 points to nil. But then, of course, trying to prevent that commentator's curse. <laughs> yeah, uh, Lewis with the sweet strike and gets the three points. The visiting team, a darling, leading the fray at 10 points to nil. Yeah, Lewis had also a la David Beckham, Hak, here, the Asso, and I am set on Moy to sleep all the year for the extra three points for this one. One minute before, what the break? One minute. Marius for first. I'm hoping that when he watches the game afterwards, he won't be upset with the pronunciation. He gets us underway. It's over, it's over. Well, well it's the wind, of course, will be a huge disadvantage for them right now. As the kick did not make it over the 10, but Chad Robinson will take it himself and just bump him over. That's Shaden Lewis who booked the wrong bus ticket. This bus is full. So the ball was already yeah. already over well, the ball. The ball had already been thrown over the line, and it came back with the wind. So that is play on for the people that are not really real. Saldana, who is too busy for the ball, was it? The ball came by Anslan and Chadwin Robertson, who is too busy for the ball. So yeah, the ball was already over the line. So yeah, the ball was already over the line. So yeah, the ball was already over the line. So yeah, the ball was already Oh, Nesto Warnick uh, with another feed just over the 10 meter line. It's not as clean as we'd like based on the conditions, but the quality is of a sumptuousness. It's another beautiful shove. Wilder Marsh marshalling matters behind that scrum. For Dean, show and go with the grubber downfield, a sensational kick. The wind will take that ball just over the 22 meter line. That is a phenomenal kick from Ferdian Daniels. Prachtig, ik speel daar geleerd weer voor die Daniels. Wat een gaping cynisch zo achter die achter die Saldana achterlijn. Hij zet om in die gaping. Bal wat net daar wordt die kantlijn hoop. Maar ja, hulle vindt hulle zelf weer diepe in die afgebied van 
Die mannen van Saldana, waar Saldana nou zal moeten weer proberen weg te komen, zo. Maar nou eerst voor een limoenbreek. Ja, zo so, die eerste toon nog niet wat vanaf voorbij gevliegen, die zo. En Saldana bij. Die mannen van Daling, wat zover alle kansen gebruikt het om spel te oorheers. Saldana wat zal wel terugvecht, maar ja, als het te zien, die manier die vindt, is het moeilijk voor hulle. En hulle sal wel terugvecht in die tweede helft. And uh, as we have the lemon break, well this time we're not having a lemon with our tequila shots, we're having it with the rugby action right here today. As we get ready for the festivities, the festivities rather, in this lemon break. So in the first 20 minutes, Heinrich, what are your thoughts thus far in the, in the first 20 minutes? We have seen the men who Saldana who are always under pressure. Daling who is tactically better, the ball is a little bit short, he has taken the ball up and he has found himself in the quarter of the one and a half of Saldana more time. But yeah, it's now to be able to the ball on the foot and the wind use the wind. Let's go! In the defense here in the 22, strong carry, a lovely defense from the young scrum officer, Nestor Warnick. Sultana not getting much ground though. But Mondre Jacobs digs for it, finding his uh, pivot, Marius Fiffers. He's fighting extremely hard against the wind and not getting much. This wind is causing a lot of trouble today. Maar het, zoals we genoemd het ziet, dat helpt niet. Jij scoopt die bal zo hoog niet. Die wind is ongelooflijk sterk. Jij gaat niks maken met die bal naar boven die lucht niet. Hou die bal laag op de grond. Zie je om meer dan een grabber als je moet. Backwards. Wat is de missen? Take that from Kelvin Martinez, but Saldana are still holding on to defense. Not out of jail yet. As Warnick just marching his troops. Van Samuels probably is a hand with carry. It's a dominant carry. Gets over the 22 meter line. Darling, a pile under pressure. Warnick looking for options. Looking to go open and he goes to Robinson. With another strong carry. Gets over the advantage line. Pumps his legs. Is the big hooker. Darling, a pile under pressure. They are smelling a blood. Warnick, yet another telling pass. Ever getting so close to the trial line. Strong run from the captain Earl Lewis. A fans of two would be defenders. Pick and go is the call. Inch by inch, they get closer. Just outside the five meter line, one it goes by himself, but is demolished just over the five meter line. The ref awards them at the penalty. Af doen op die mannen van Saldana. Saldana wat te ver net moet de alle verdieren gaan kiem. Mannen van wat te ver uit staan daar chat met Robinson. En dan ook natuurlijk met ons vroeger noem John Samuels. Alle doen al die harde hardloop rugby voor langs en maak zeker alle maak die gapen zo op. John Samuels met de quick tap, getting over the advantage. Piling on the pressure. It's a slow ball though from Darling as the digging is continued by Wilden Marsh. The pick and go as the supporters are going full behind the visitors. Here we go, darling. Here we go. And the try has been scored from the visitors. Yeah, very and a good three. That's the same spell from the four players. So seen we have come with the ball. But yeah, very and four players with the same spell. That's good. And the spell is a bit better. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
And the captain, Earl Lewis, won't be uh, taking this kick. As he was walking quite gingerly there, I hope he's okay. But the kicking duties, the baton has been passed to. It looks like 13 Daniels to add the extra as well. Scoreboard pressure is finally starting to show, but of course it is a game of two halves. Darling using the wind behind their backs to great effect. To be interesting to see how they defend their lead in the second half. Yeah, I mean, it's all interesting to see how they defend their lead in the second half. Yeah, I mean, it's all interesting to and the flags go up. It's a lovely kick, and the scoreboard keeps ticking. TikTok, not the application, but rather the scoreboard. 17 points to nothing in favor of the visitors. Yeah, various groot telling what we so far have gebouwd here. 17 points voorsprong. But yeah, as it for the year gezien, the darling ten Moriesburg gezien het. Moriesburg wat 17 points voorsprong gehad het. Vroeg in die krachtwetting en darling wat terugkom het om hier weer terug te win. And we are underway. Well collected by JP Abrams, who fends off what defender offloading straight into 14 over the halfway line. They go. Well, you know, Wilden Marsh on his own yet again. Another pop pass to Warnick. End to end stuff as Darling go back to where they were and they win the penalty. You blink once, you will miss the entire action. Variance, variance. Goeie is on the spell, also. Weer dit de grappen geslaan. JP Abrams ondersteuning gevonden daar zo van zij. Nummer 7 van Tango wat daar op zijn scoren was. Mannen wat mooi gecommuniceerd daar. Het nulste hoorn ik wat daar. Gevat was gewoon toen maar. Die tackler wat niet release niet. En weer eens per kansen om drie punten bij te voegen voor die mannen van Darling. 100%. What a sensational piece of play there from the fullback JP Abrahams. Do you know when you try to grab a bar of soap while taking a shower? How long do you end up taking it? You aren't. It keeps on slipping out of your palms. That's JP Abrahams slithering through. That would be defender and uh, Earl Lewis with the right call back in the kicking duties. Building that scoreboard pressure, looking to make it 20 points to nil. Nog geen punt op het elbow van Saldana niet. En ik er zeker af van. Saldana zal wel hard praten. Want dat kan niet bekostig om zo ver achter te raken. Die kan niet. Well, what started <laughs> off as a small anthill. It started to get the size of Table Mountain as far as the score is concerned. Fifth years with another restart. Well collected by John Samuels. Just gets it over the 10 meter line. But it's a strong pick and go from Mitchell Fortein, who's also in the mood. Warnick to Ferdin. Ferdin, Abrahams. Abrahams out to Will Daniels. Will Daniels still in. Oh, well off the skew. Will then Marsh tried to recollect it, but couldn't get the ball to his palms. Saldana Bay caught napping yet again on the open side. Unfortunately, he has been recollected again by Darling. How did that happen? Darling with the advantage with the forward pass. Oh my goodness, do you think pressure is trying to tell now from a Saldana? Come on, what is so in the sector of want? It is not lekker om te zien as a span. Al klaar, dingen nie aan hulle kant gaan nie en dan gee moed op in die eerste helft nie. Ons weet hierdie manne van Saldana as die verdedig in die kampioene vir twee jaar in die rij. Hulle is sekerlik nie tevrede met hulle spel so ver nie. En ek gloe, hulle sal terugslaan in hierdie kraagmeting. Net om te noem ook vir die mense daar buiten. Die twee flanke, Mitchum Fortuyn en Wilton Tango, wat net treie omgeruil het met Tango in die nummer 6 treie. Wadig with the feeds, another dominant scrub from Saldana. A bigger part in that is a darling who win that penalty. They are showing their dominance in the scrums. It's another perfect uh, showcase in the back of dominance. They win that penalty. And Darling have opted to take another scrum. Saldana will be very concerned because a few more of these in this area, there'll be a warning and then they'll have a player that gets taken off. Yeah, weer eens goeie, goeie roep daar dier meneer Bradley Kotse. Man wat daar ingebeer het aan die scrum. En dit is, wees jou net die dominante spel wat Darling beplan het om die bal voorlangs te hou en hulle domineer voorlangs met hulle scrum. Warnick with the feed. Another dominant showing of scrum there. 
Wilden Marsh, Marsh Lynn, yet again at the back, he picks up and goes! Wilden Marsh, let's go! Goeie genade, prachtige scrum, opgeput daar, Wilden Marsh, met haar oor beer met de man op zijn rug. So piekie ongelukkig kan wees met die scrum, aan die kant van Saldana, gelijk of die is. En Strasco kon wees dat, maar ze zegt er wat ze speelt aan en jij speelt toch die vlijkie blaas. Maar ja, goed opgepakt en hij wees je net, kracht. Het is een kracht aan het oor van nog vijf punten. The home team has never lost at home. And Darling have never won away here in Sultana Bay. Is this going to change today? At this stands, it looks like it will change. 25 points. To nothing in favor of Darling, with Earl Lewis looking to add the extras and make it 27. It's becoming a huge mountain to climb for the home side. Yeah, we are here. Never told Dana we had it. We are who are all the bobbles that fell over it. And the lie, yeah. Let it all in. Let it all in. Phenomenal kick from the captain, the scanner, Earl Lewis. Yeah, then uh, Lewis would say, no, from Scanner Raaf, now David Beckham to for under Raaf, and Verians, krang hy om so in here, in die linker recht op paal, en het nog twee punten wat bijgevoegd word daar. Now, 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 it's a phenomenal kick downfield from Ralph Daniels who finds a beautiful or rather a sumptuous touch finder from Darling who takes it back deeper into Saldana's territory. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Yeah, that's true. Geen mensie wil echt kans om haas om te haal nie. Die spel is ongelooflik vannacht en interessant. Weer eens. Behalve wat dier die mannen van Daling hier achter uitgejaagd word in die kant van kwartgebied van Saldana. So as a word is klaar is, maar ongelooflik hard is ook. Lovely throw in from Joshua Fanning Jose. Strong carry from the home side. Lost it backwards though. Well, it did look backwards from our side here, but the ref says nope. Went forward in favor of the visiting team. Well, you can just see that there is some intent from Saldana, but I think maybe they're playing in the wrong areas of the field, more especially when they have a 27 points deficit. Nothing on the score as yet, if, uh, as far as Saldana is concerned. And I mean, of course, Darling have been dominating the scrums, and right now, Darling will be looking to add more points. Yeah, the Darling, but in all, with all, here, can we all say, all the players in the right place on the field, all the marks here, all the. Druk die mannen vast in hulle eie kwart gebied, gebruik die wind, hulle hoek die bal kort, gebruik hulle voorspelers om die stempel af te druk, die gapings vir hulle te maak. En ja, soos ons gesien het, hulle skrim met ongelooflike groot kracht daarvoor, met Saldana wat sikkel om antwoorde te geef vir hulle. Yeah, so far we've been seeing some great play from both wingers, Darling Raul Daniels and Gerard Carolus, who's been re relatively quiet though. But of course, with the ball in hand, he does show his potency. As well as on Saldana, Jaden Lewis and Mikhail Harrison, with so much twinkle toes and capacity, I think they buy this sneakers at Techie Town, don't you think? Yes, definitely. Yeah, great prices as well. But we have to say that we have a track for the game of two halves. It will be interesting to see what Saldana will do in the second half. There is still a lot of time for this crash meeting. So we have to say that we can't come back. We all know the quality of what Saldana is. We are always in the crash meeting in the crash meeting for 80 minutes. 100% and just while there is a bit of a break, just to thank the sponsors that are involved in this great specimen of Western Cape, or rather to be more precise, Bulland Rugby, putting it on a greater platform. Take my hat off to you, Bumatel, Santam, Sanlama, Techie Town, Umbro, and of course, the new joiner in the sponsorship panel, that is Tweezer, all the way from the 045 in Queenstown in the Eastern Cape. And it uh, looks like we'll be making some early substitutions. Well, uh, looking at uh, the Saldana bench, Looks like they do have uh, a 5-3 split. They're not, be, they're not going to be going for the 7-1 split as per the All Blacks fighting against it against the Springboks today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. That is a great what you fought as you die 7 and split it. But yeah, that did all work for the Bokke. But as we see, there is a lot of the field. There is a lot of the field. It's a lot of the field.
Dat is een bezering is al in de eerste helft. Hopen die jongman in de eerste helft vannacht. En ja, alles sterke jongman, ons hoop jou seizoen is nie voorbij nie. Ja, hy is just getting some assistance to come off. Dit is John van der Veld wat ongelukkig daar die veld verlaat. Dit lyk wel of het die rechter knie van hom sal wees of een enkel. Maar dit lyk nie goed nie. Dit is jammer, want hy is een goeie speler en hy gee altyd sy 100%. Wanneer to Lewis, the show and go, the scanner, Earl Lewis, you boot. Oh my goodness, they're just maintaining the dominance in the scrum and literally running away with this game. Earl Lewis with the dummy switch, the defense was napping, they had their blinkers on and that gap opened up like the Red Sea. Yeah, I think Earl Lewis was for sport market that year come. I think he can say in his life it's nog nooit so makkelijke drie gaan druk nie. Dit as ons, daar was geen verdediging gewees. Die communicatie dat heel te mal ontbreek het daar. En een loos snij daar dier. Jo, dit is verbazend om te sien hoe makkelijk die drie opgeëndig het vir hom. Nou, it's a fantastic play. You can see, darling, they're playing with such confidence. They are playing with great precision, just trusting their systems. They do know that they are dominating the scrum, so they just keep on maintaining that pressure. Earl Lewis leading by example in that attacking play. And just to maintain his captaincy, he adds the extras in favor of the visitors. Nervy, nervy moments from the home side. 34 points to nothing as it stands in the first half. Substitutions will be made here for the visitors. Jedwin Fortein is coming on for Samuels. Definitely a bomb squad tactical change as he's been having a phenomenal game. But back to the action though, the kickoff from fifth is almost collected there by Jalen Lewis. Darling doing very well to get it and has been turned over courtesy of a knockout advantage. Much better restart though from Marius Fifus from the home side. Just uh, kicking it hard and narrow, but unfortunately having that opportunity to recollect it. But has fumbled. I'm sure halftime chat, the coach will just try to tell them that remain more calm and composed when you get to their half. No 50-50s because the wind is against them in this first half. So it'll be very interesting to see how they're going to play in the second half. But back in the scrum, one with the feet, another dominant scrum though. Saldana doing very well though to win that turnover. But can they win this scrum? Mandre Jacobs was a standout performer last weekend. He'll be sure to turn the tide from last week's adventures. Finding themselves in a great real estate position quite rarely so in this first half because they've been camping in their half but right now they find themselves back in Darling's territory with an opportunity of the scrum. Tyron Abel's standing gets the ball from Jacobs goes alone though is Tyron well met by McKay who bullies him back to where he came from. Sultana still in possession though just over the meter line. Jacobs finding your city. Strong carry from the big lock. Over the table, down they go. Same side is the call. Jacobs finding the replacement. Latif, well met. It's a phenomenal, ferocious tackle from McKay. But it uh, looks like uh, someone is in trouble. The ref is just having a word. And it looks like it's a yellow card. Unfortunate from uh, the youngster, Chad McKay who was starting to get into the game with his strong runs. Great defensive showing, but it looks like uh, Abdul Rahman Latif is still down on the ground, but gets back up because his pride is at stake. Marius finds a telling touch just on the 22 meter line. Momentum slightly shifting in favor of the home side as we get closer to half time. Devan Joshua for the throw. Pack. 
Well, knock on advantage though is the call. Saldana still in possession though they win that scrum, but can they win it against a dominant Saldana pack? So we need to speed up the game, boys. It's a blitz, man. Still on the 22. Well, this is the longest they've been in uh, Darling's territory. Can they get some points before half time? Mandre Jacobs looking for options. Marius just a bit deep. Rodro Yonkers standing close. It's a lovely show. And here we go, Mikhail Aramsa. Still going, looking for support. No one is there to help him. Great run. Jacobs looking for options. Panicking, hesitating with the ball. And it looks like the arm is out. A tap down is a penalty try. Jacobs goes on his own. Gets over the heart, the train, the foul beater line. Sultana looking to salvage something in this first half. Tyrone Abels with the ball. Well met on defense. Darling remaining resolute on defense. Nicolas De Beer, strong carry, getting so close to the trial line. And uh, Sultana is trying to spread the ball out wide. The captain goes wide. He finds Mikel Adams uh, and he scores the first try from the home side. Finally, they get to the scoreboard. Courtesy of the right wing, Mikhail Hansa. Oh, what a beautiful play, especially from the captain. Unselfishly gets the ball, makes it go, passes out wide, making the outside player look good. Champagne rugby at the end of the first half. Lost to Pierre. Strong carry, getting the so close crowd. to the try line. Finding their voice. And uh, Sultana is trying to spread the ball out right. The captain so goes wide. Right. He is finds Mikel Aronsa. And he scores the first try from the home side. Andre Jacobs was sensational off the kick and tee last week in the first round. With the wind against him, does he have enough legs to get over the crossbar? Jacobs. It's a lovely strike, but does he have the direction? He goes back inside, but no legs. Well, looks like Monday will be squatting and doing some leg press for the third round. But back to this action. Scores remain. 34 points to five in favor of the visitors. Making their way to the halfway line quite slowly, trying to eat some more <laughs> minutes. The home crowd finding their voice, always lovely to hear, especially being a player on the field. Restart there from Aberdeen, letting the ball bounce again. There's the second uh, kickoff now that they let bounce. I'm not sure that uh, the coach will be happy with that, he'll be pointing it out. But that's the first off, ladies and folks, don't go anywhere. Get the cooler box packed up, get your fridge packed up, and we'll be back in the second half. Who are we? We are the alarm at 4.30 a.m. We are practice before school and after work. We are fitness goals. We are goals. We are focused. Balanced. Relentless. 
We are real. And real sees real. We are you. Welcome to the game of life. At kickoff, it's nil-nil. What you do next decides the result. Make a good decision, you're ahead. Make a mistake, you're chasing. You need a good plan and a great team behind you. Live a life of confidence, today and every day. Thank you. 
Welcome to the second half of the second round of the San Lamo Poland Top 12, where Darling have visited the host club Saldana, who are trailing by quite a significant score in the first half. But I mean, of course, it is a game of two halves, and the second half will be very interesting now that Saldana have the wind behind them. How's Darling supposed to, or rather, how is Darling going to defend their lead? 
Well, I mean, of course, we are going to see how they will do that. They are led by the experienced Earl Lewis as well as uh, the Chadwin Robertson uh, doing very well in the first half to put on the pressure and build that scoreboard. And Marius Fifers sets us underway for the second half. And Darling gets the ball, lets the ball bounce, but well gathered there from the fullback is JP Abrahams finding themselves over the 22 meter line. It's a slow ball, but Warnick misses his pass out to Kevin Martinez, who had a sensational first half. Dominant carries from the big prop. Warnick digging for the ball straight to Robinson, who shimmies back inside, but well met on defense by Ronaldo Brown of Soldana. Warnick looking to dig for the ball. It's a slow ball, playing in close quarters. Lewis kicks it downfield, nice and low. Mekeli much meters, but a lack of concentration from Mikhail Hansa. Starting the second half, that is uh, Brent Manuel, I beg your pardon, who had one job to do to get that ball, but uh, had his eyes off the ball. Yeah. Die bounce of the ball can in a can do gaan. Dat geeft je tijd om je offensive line om op op te schieten. Opzet op de markt. Je speelt in de rechte areas. Want die met die wind raakt het niet erger en erger daar buiten. Maar het zal interessant zijn om te zien wat daling wordt gemaakt met die man minder op het veld. Set. Steady. Warnick gets the first feed in the second half. Solid. Strum there. Sultana doing very well. They go blind. Straight to uh, to Abrahams. No, but goes back inside. It's Gerke Rollers who does very well to stay in field. Warnick takes for the ball, finds Martinez, gets close to the halfway line, doing very well to build on that pressure. Warnick does go blind, but well met there. There's the ball. No. Nope. It's Wilton Marsh, who was uh, flooded by shoulders. It's a first carry from a children 14. Strong defensive from the visitors. Chadwin Robinson with yet another demolishing hit. It looks like they're doing very well, though, just to uh, defend their fringes. Winning that penalty is Saldana with the wind behind them. They'll be feeling much more relieved, but the scoreboard pressure is still there. Yeah, we have a Anfall geweest daar door die mannen van Daling, wat toe die bal bykie losgooi daar en strafskopper daar afgestaan word aan die kant van Daling en ek is zeker daarvan, Saldana sal nou wel vroeg punt aanteken in die tweede helft want hulle het een stil, stil bult om op te klim. Joshua met die throw, wel gathered by Emil Boysen. Jacobs digs for the ball, finds Fiffers. Inside pass. To our bells. Over the advantage line. Jacobs feeds again. Finds De Beer. Well met on defense by Darling, doing very well to scramble. Jacobs goes wide to uh, Fiffers. Out wide to uh, his fullback, uh, Brent Manuel. Does very well to evade that tackle. Over the 22 meter line, he goes and creeping close to the 5 meter line. Our oh, potential run there. Fiffers, no your boss. I'm not sure what the idea was, but they had the penalty advantage. Ja, gelukkig voor hulle, daar so het hulle strafskop voordeel gehad, want daar was nie baie goeie pas, daar gewees nie, daar wees nie. Maar ja, weer eens daai hier achter, daar so, Ben Manuel wat paar aftrappe gee daar so, en een man of twee afstam, nou sal hulle vir Daling wil vastpen hier so, en seker maak hulle kom weg met punte. And Fippers takes his forwards, close to the 5 meter line. I feel Saldana just needs to relax and uh, show some composure when they've got the ball because, uh, I mean, they do have the win now, so the long passes will be uh, very difficult to execute. But speaking of execution, them rolling mall is scoring the first try of the second half. Lekker, Swiss cracker. That's what we're looking Saldana was früh terugslaan in the second half. We're here now for five points. I think that three net die for the rest of the net for the extra momentum that gegee om the way they can in the And now they have to make sure that they have to add two points to the bijvoeg, want it can be critical to the end of the kracht meeting to see if they can come back to the win or not. It's a great start for the home team, Saldana, scoring the first points in the second half. They had to score first in the second half to try and decrease the deficit that they currently dealing with 
at home and they've never lost at home so that too is also going to be uh, a pressure point that one is to uh, notice Mondre Jacobs looking to add the extras it's another lovely strike the wind carries it does he have the direction yes he does it's a lovely kick from the scrum half Mondre Jacobs Rustig zijn kop af, daar is zo'n trek, mooi die die bal. En zit om bij vrij twee punten. En is nou Kelborg het opschrijft van 12 punten voor die mannen van Saldana. En 34 nog steeds aan de kant van Dalin. It's a great start for the home team. Verdien fighting against the wind, but you will come back unfortunately before the 10. But Rev says play on. And here we go, Sultana and Ronaldo Brown, the telling run from the flanker, Jacobs, Antoine to Manuel, Slithers again at the pass to Gareth Hatza. Sultana, Bay have got their tails up, and it's another beautiful try from the home team. Has it been confirmed? Yes, it has. Prachtige, prachtige drie daar zo aan die kant van Sultana. Emil Poison, wat gewoon lijkt het of hij die bal zo'n beetje overran het. Maar toch nog steeds beheer van die bal krijg. En hij beheer oor daar zo. Amper, amper het hulle om daar oor die doelang opgehou. Maar sy kraag en besluitneming was net briljant daar gewees. En nog vijf punte wat hulle nader krijg. Maar hier is again at the pass to Gareth Gertse. Sultana, play have got their tail. We did speak, or rather we did say in the first half that it is a game of two halves. And in the second half, Saldana have started in such a blistering pace, or blistering rather. I just made a mistake there. I said blistering instead of blistering. But this is top blitz. Mondre Jacobs to add the extras less than a minute after he had his uh, first attempt in the second half. And this is another sweet strike and it splits the uprights in half. Oh, prachtige, prachtige skop, Beheriens. Bonre Jacobs, cool, calm. Wat hy daar bly en hy trek los vir nog twee punte. Maria, Saldana, wat soos een nieuwe span lyk op die, op die veld in die tweede helft. Maar nou weer daling wat hulle, hulle binnencenter terugkry op die veld, maar ook een paar plaasvervangers op die veld stuur. Gaan dit vir hulle die Darling making some substitutions. Renfred Adams, Ethan Sias, as well as Chester Gordon coming in just to add some fresh legs to try and save this game right now. And it's a retake, much better strike. It stays up in the air. Is it going to be taken? Well, unfortunately, it has been lost forward by McKay. The ref says play on the grabber downfield. Sultana, but looks like it's going to be covered. They can't get the ball, they keep fumbling it. And that's a JP Abrahams. Well positioned, but the ball is just tricky to get a hold of. Saldana, what now? Tactic slim spiel. Set the ball up his foot. Ball was right up. And so the man of Daling, what if you are on the opposite? That's all my ball, where he can't like the fat me. In the Brubier, that Daling is not Saldana, but the ball in the list on for me. And if you're wondering where to watch us, you're getting us on the Club Rugby Live uh, YouTube channel. Please do go view, subscribe, like and share and spread the word. Boerland is where it's at in the Salam Boerland Top 12. Speaking of the Salam Boerland Top 12, the captain, Divan Joshua, was looking for his jumpers. But unfortunately, they had a handling error, gifting the ball back to Darling. Yeah, Berians, was in the first half of the and he can't find Darling with the that somebody went to spill it. Dit is nog steeds niet makkelijk om hij ballen te voeren. Je springers, je gooiers met elkaar nog steeds kan vinden. Als man die bal gaan gefskip voor die wind. Maar ja, dat is het daling wat ze moeten proberen weg te komen uit het kwart gebied uit. Weer eens goede scrum daar zo. It's a massive scrum from Darling, a brother of Saldana. The dominance was shown by Darling. That's why they found themselves over the 22. Still with the ball in hand is Darling. Sias with his first touch on the base, who started last week, and it's Wilden Marsh, who just had to go on while they were sleeping. Valuable meters from the big eighth man. Takes the team well over the halfway line, out wide, straight to the substitute, Redford Adams, with his first carry. 
Well tackled by Emil Boyce in the try scorer. CS digging for the ball. Finding one of his own, and that is JP Abrahams. Who was looking to cause some honesty in the defense. CS looking for options. Robinson says go wide. Ferdinand to the captain, Lewis. Oh my word, that pass was so forward. It's having its Christmas lunch already. Darling, what the ball was set now, a bit of a bit of a spell, a bit more on the left side, but yeah, he had a verloren there, but now the ball is on the side of Darling. And Saldana will give it. As we see, that Saldana will certainly try to get away from the ball, but the ball is going to be on the Unrelated, Heindrich. Making a forward pass against the wind. How strong is Earl Lewis? <laughs> <laughs> The wise, the talent that he brings in this span, the kennis that he has built in the years, he brings it another type of strength in this span, and he is not human. And they go blind. Here we go with Saldana. Miguel Alza inside to Jacobs. This is sensational. Did he have to make the pass? I don't think so. That was written five points all over it. Well, yeah, Jacobs, must not need to be too fast to get himself back in there. So. He had the speed, I had thought, he had thought Mikael Hansen was the help of him, but Mikael Hansen was from his foot off. But yeah, he lost a point there on the side of Saldana. I was sure of him, he was already right. But yeah, Monrey Jacobs and Mikael Hansen, what a nice job there, so he could still play. But yeah, it was the first time, it was a point that he lost in the hand. That had five points written all over it. A concoction of a variation and a skill set producing that cocktail frenzy. There were almost was a five pointer with yet another try to get closer. Or rather to decrease that deficit. Oh my goodness, I'm sure he will not want to see that to the highlight reel. Gifting Darling with an opportunity here as the feed, courtesy of Ernesto Warnick. It's a beautiful scrum from Saldan in the second half. Yeah, you can tell that uh, that was part of the uh, half-time discussions in the Saldana camp. But uh, Warnick with the feed, see us rather. Proper scrum from Saldana. It's a house on fire right now. But darling, get the ball out. Marshall had the ball at the base. Make the pass out to Carolus, who gets close to the 10 meter line. Darling in position. Sias finding the big Martinez, who bumps off the would be defender in the Yose. Doing very well though to do to steal that ball. Illegally so is the call from the ref. And you can see here with the off the ball, Marsh unnecessary charge there. He has to be careful. Because the ref has been fair, uh, uh, from my opinion, in this first half. Your thoughts on the official? Yeah, I would say your song, Steve McDonald. This guy is a very very good player, so he's a very good player. 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 JP Abrahams. Gets the black magic. And Saldana's estate. Right in the 10 meter line. Shannon Robinson, or Robinson rather, with the throw. They'll be looking to, to stay calm, stay composed. You have a lot of uh, provincial reps here as they go for the rolling ball. Robinson at the tail. So good ball as they get close to the 22 meter line. Saldana just uh, tracking backwards. They should be careful not to get from the side. The ref turns his arm down though, because Darling creeping over 22 meter line. This is reminding me of South Africa versus Japan, the World Cup 2019. Chadwin, strong carry, breaks away from that ball. In the 22, they go. It's a slow ball though, there's no scrum off. Counter racket 10 by Saldana. Legally, so is the ref. It looks like they might have turned it over. Ref says play on. Scrambling for the ball is the Darling Force, and they've turned it over. It's Saldana. Sensational defensive structure. Fifers downfield, using the wind to great effect, but will be well collected by JP Abrams. So two and two, should have made the pass, but uh, backs himself and goes up forward and losing the ball in contact. So JP Lewis, yeah, he was talking about that, he had 
Ja, die HP speel in jou eie halfgebied nie, val nie in die weer team, in die wind team wat hulle speel nie. Maar, weer eens, die daar ongedwonge fout, maar wat die kracht speel, kan ons nie sê, daar aan die kant van Saldana nie, maar die counter, wat in die kwart gebied, maar, na die prachtige ronde beweging van die kant van Daling, wat Saldana die bal oorneem en in die gapige plaas. 100% and uh, just a young stoppage. There's a player down and uh, this will be a moment where Darling will be happy about just to, to regather, to regroup. The second half has started in a dramatic fashion, all in favor of the home side as they try to defend their unbeaten record at home. And of course, Let's go. Darling as well. Let's go trying to win here for the first time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They won't be happy with how they started the second half though, but also doing very well to play accordingly in terms of their structural play, just trusting their systems against the wind, playing in close quarters and place contact. Zaldana will be happy with how they started the second half. Jacobs with the feed, strong carry. And uh, Boyson at the back of that scrum. Back watch, back watch. Jacobs struggling to get that ball, but they makes the pass out wide. Here we go. It's Jonkers. Jonkers makes the pass out to Manuel. Is he going to... I'm not too sure what the idea was, but he, he didn't find any support. Again, another opportunity it's which was butchered by Saldana. Still with the ball, though, in the 22. Boyson does well to stay on his feet. Running backwards, though. There's bad, acres of space out wide, but the wind takes it. Well over for that forward pass. Unfortunately for Jaden Lewis, that try is not going to count. Not sure why they make the passes, long passes with such wind. Weer eens die binnen aangee wat verloren gaan, laag aangee. Gelukkig voor hulle was daar nog mannen, maar weer eens ook. Toe daar die hel gaap en ook man in een paar mannen oor is aan die buitenkant. Geel die lang aangee wat die wind heel te mal die bal voor het toe vat. En nog een verloren kans vir die mannen van Saldana. Ja, definitely. And Saldana are a completely different team in the second half with another opportunity to get closer to Darling's score. Well, I'm not too sure with the intention, but as far as Darling is concerned, yeah. making a tactical substitution, Lion right. Mathais coming on, uh, uh, replacing Calvin Martinez in that proper. CS with the feed, regathers down the field he goes, but the wind will take that back just before the 10 meter line for the safety of touch. Joshua finds Jose, who's manhandled illegally. Darling, the tables have turned, the momentum has shifted. Pressure has been exerted against the Darling. Well, with Lion Mathais, his first contribution is trying to get back up. But Pippus will not mind because he will take his team just over the 22 meter line. The tails are up. The home crowd, the volume is up. The pressure has been shifted back to the visitors and the substitution will be made. JD. Could see it. Just have a look as uh, who is replacing, and it looks like he'll be replacing Yonkers, Rodwell, Yonkers. Not sure about that. Uh, oh, Yonkers is going at the back rather, and it's uh, the sensational winger, Mikhail Ansa, getting off. But back to the action. Darling winning that line out inside the 22. Sias to 13. Finding for Dane, right through, McKay slices through like a hot knife through butter. He was looking to kick it downfield, but well gathered from Fifus. But uh, here we go, it is uh, Rodwell Yonkers with the kick and chase. He's even going to get it. Taking back, well, taking back. Well, carried back is the call. So scrum to uh, the attacking side, which is a Sultan. Here we go. Here's Mark. Good day, Rodwell Yonkers. 
Bal wat net recht op de andere kant van Daling, maar ja, nou is het die mannen van Saldana wat een goede, goede positie op die veld bekleed met een paar vierter scrum net kort van die palen. Hij kan naar alle kanten te slaan. Hij is nou in een gunstige positie. Als we zien aan, ik de man van Daling wat weer op, op een makkelijk reden onder die palen, wat eerst een beetje handig benodig. Ja, yeah, and uh, a lot to play for today, not to just uh, get the campaign back on track. Monre Jacobs at this point with 14, one of the top point scorers so far in this tournament with Monre Jacobs with 14 points uh, in favor of a Saldana. Earl Lewis has uh, 17 points and Heidi Isaacs 15 points thus far. Those are the top point scorers. The top try scorers, we have a Heidi Isaacs with three and uh, that's a uh, club for Matella with the two from Young Hamilton's as well as Wesley Spandil from Hofstra with two tries. So a lot of stats coming in, a lot of uh, uh, opportunities to uh, increase that deficit. Yeah, so as you see, this little moon break, there's an extra awesome skip tight for the man who goes on the field. But it is an action for the second half, so it's so far. All the spanners have everything in their mind to not to lift the stempel, not to drag the foot, not to sit. But yeah, what a comeback so far for the men of Saldana. They are still not in the same way. I think they are a little bit unlucky with the two or three chances. But they have definitely five points to get. And they can help them to come later in the second half. Yeah, they are not in the same way. They are in the same way. They are in the same way. It's the Le Moonbreak. Right here, just to uh, get the charges and uh, to catch their breath. The last 20 minutes, the final 20 minutes of the second round of the Sanlam Boiland yeah, Top 12. Yeah, Saldana doing very well to salvage this game, uh, scoring three quick tries in the second half, uh, creating some, uh, some pressure, some doubt for Darling as they've done so well with the win in the first half, but uh, it's a completely different uh, outing in the second half. Yeah, they see how they're going to go for the last 20 minutes. I think now the men are going to go to the field. Steady, steady. For Morris, Morris, a new problem. Today is all that we're going to make in the last 20 minutes. But it is make or break. 100% and uh, we're going to have a, a reset scrum as it just collapsed before the ball went in. I'm sure at this point in time, Saldana will be smelling blood. They'll be sure that they want to salvage some points while they have some proper real estate. Wondre Jacobs for the feed. I'm very Rob. impressed with Saldana scrubs in the second half. It's like a completely Five. different pack compared to the first half. Yeah, that like as if they have the wind behind them and they have another extra wind in them. They have a strafskop there, so on the side of Saldana. So it's interesting to see what they're going to do with this decision. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I mean, from the commentary booth, I think uh, they should just take the scrum because they have been dominating the scrums. Uh, just get the ball, get the get the pressure, pile on the the points as well. And another fall, toch wel je raden als we zien toe. En dan besluit om weer een scrum te vorm. En dan voelen, dan is op je voorvoet nu niet voor die helft. Dus we zien het laatst weer wat. Moet hij dan nieuwe asems in die tweede helft, wat een beter gescrum het. Koos kijk of het wel gaan uit weer drie keer, want we besluiten op een van die dag is ook maar belangrijk. Set, set, keep it up. Mondre, Jacobs. With the feed, Morris Pippa standing quite deep. They go open side, Jacobs! Oh, that is a coach killer. That is a coach killer, but Darling with the ball, they get over the five meter line. They just escaped jail for free, is Darling. They'll be sure to try and get out of here as soon as possible and see us sends it downfield. But the, the wind backwards. takes it backwards. I'm not too sure with the concentration happening here, though, because Darling, it's a bit scrappy at the moment. Possession back with Darling. Pick and go is the call. See us to Chadwin. Chadwin, show and go, who's been having a solid game thus far, but well met by the Sultana Blue Army. Abu Rahman Latif. Hallelujah, pause. Oh, a bit of... Uh, Lack of uh, concentration there from Darling. Okay, so Saldana open that we have learned that we have learned we we Darling, what you can't have a chance to use to get out of the way. You have to get out of the way. And also, a long time. 
koos en verdaling nou ach van zal dan nou weer bal bezit gee ja ek is seker dat van daling sal nie ookie tevrede wees met wat hulle eigenlijk in die laaste paar minute gedoen het maar ja soos ons een paar veranderinge sien weer eens op dankie sê aan die manne van Techie Town wat een groot sponsor is saam met Boema Hotel, Sanglam, Sanglam, Bumbro en dan ook aan ons nieuwe mense wat hierdie week by het my gekom met Toza dankie aan Amo Abels, right through her is the substitute J.D. Kutsia, his first contribution is a five pointer talk about a super sub Lekker soos ei trekke. Ja, goeie leindag is nou dat jy hier jy die koets sê. Koe en kalm, nie dinge oordink nie, nie te vinnig en hoek jy nie. Seker gemaakt, hy betrap hy die achterste linie in kant en trap af en hy duik oor vir vijf punte. Jacobs has the extras. There are some nervous faces here in the stadium, Rakia and Saldana. Nervous faces which are of course in support of the Black Magic. The visitors are dialing up. And uh, we start with the penalty. Not sure the, what the call was, but it looks like it was a high tackle. But uh, Saldana will be happy with that call because here we go. It's Jalen Lewis uh, slithering through. Uh, here he goes. Uh, someone stop him. Uh, looking for support. No one is there. He does not need the support. That is a sensational. That is obliterated. That is what you call Poland rugby at its best. She threw what they do the sin. So don't have any question for Dan in die kwestie van 30 sekundes 2-3 en wat geteken in die kant van die Saldana Ongelooflijk op die spel wat gestraaf word en hulle tik vinnig op die middel kolliekie gaan oor 14 punte in die kwestie van 30 sekundes en die telbos wat ook beskyf het nou na 34 punte aan die kant van die manne van van Daling en Saldana wat nou 38 punte het en vir die eerste keer die voorsprong het in die krachtweting. We have a game in our hands. Jaden Lewis fresh from the SAS Academy. Showing his skill, showing his quality. Right here in Saldana Bay in front of the home of Faithfuls. Nervous people around. Nervous visitors around. Downfield we go with JP Abrahams. Well gathered by Marsh, who does very well to get possession of the ball. Lewis, a scrum off. Here comes John T. Lobsher. Strong carry from the big guy. Lobsher stolen by Saldana. Jacobs, going Jacobs, going Jacobs. Mr. Bossy Lewis, can you believe it? Here we go. This is becoming difficult for the visiting team. You blink once, you miss the show. Great decision all round from Mondre Jacobs. Started off with him, he stole the ball in the dracker. Regathered, ran valuable meters. Oh my word, Jaden Lewis just remained patient, he stuck to his line. It was a 2v1 situation, but this time Mondre Jacobs had the perfect decision. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Net een rechtstelling aan my kant ek voor haan verskoning. Dit is nou 38 punte aan die kant van Saldana. 34 punte aan die kant van Daling. Maar ja, wat sy laaste 5 minuut het ons nie gesien nie in die verdedigende kampioen uit nie. Wat terugslaan en hulle kom haal vir Daling van die veld af soos hulle speel. They are of course the defending champions so it's a lot to... It's a lot more to play for. They try to make sure that uh, the San Lampuelan Top 12 tournament stays right here in Sultana and Jacobs. This time he he misses the uprights, but they'll be happy with the momentum that they have at the stage because their tails are on the stratosphere right now. Yeah, the situation comes almost so awesome. Just back and slam with the prachtige spel wat ons die laaste vijf minuut tien minuten gezien van Sultana. Kan niet geloven dat ze zelf te span wat ons zien in die tweede helft niet. Als wat ons gezien het in die eerste helft niet. Daling wat zal wel terugvallen. Ik denk al is ook speechless. JP Abrams gets us underway. Marsh almost had it, but the try scorer Lewis regathers. Jacobs at the base. Well. 
handling error there. They'll be disappointed with that, but Darling will be happy with the opportunity. Sias goes on his own. Ethan Sias looking for support, finds more. She gets over the 22 meter line. Darling in attack. Here we go. Strong carry from Lobja. Over 22 meter line, a counter rack is good. Illegally is the call from the official. Lion Mathes goes alone. Darling piling on the pressure. The captain Lewis finds Lobsher from the base. He goes alone yet again. Another carry, but has been ripped by Sultana Ronaldo Brown. But uh, illegally so is the call. Darling looking to save this game. They go for a quick tap. We have injury. We just have to stop the game because we oh, have some tired bodies, or rather injured bodies, from Darling. Now, Darling's starting to get back up. It's not too strange yeah, yeah. <laughs> who the players may be as yet. Let's just wait for the numbers. But what a start to no. the second half. Okay, we have to afford a little bit of this. Okay, take it almost off with Coop. It's direct. Okay, take the advantage. Take the advantage. You almost got it. But is it not a yellow? That's a soup and dog. Darling took a guess on the report from the ball. Looks like uh, we have visuals on who might be uh, injured. Uh, John Jay Lobster looks uh, to be uncomfortable on the ground there. And just further up, uh, we also have a. Uh, well, he's back on his feet now. Just trying to confirm who it may be. But uh, he's back up on his feet. Second half is looking quite uh, dreadful here for the visitors. Looks like we might need a stretcher here. What do you think is the issue there, Hunter? Interessant is om te zien wat Darling nou zal doen. Daar is nog zo'n 11 minuten oor in die kraagmeting. Nog baie om voor te speel. Darling zal nie gelukkig wees om die voorsprong wat hulle gehad het weg te gegooi het nie. En hulle sal sekerlik wel weer die voorsprong kry. Ja, yeah, it looks like we have uh, a stretcher on the field now. It looks uh, as if the injury might be serious for John Taylor Lobster. I hope it's not too serious. I hope it's just, uh, it's just a spread and nothing more aggravating. But uh, Darling are in a great area on the field. 34 points to 38. <laughs> Who would have thought in the first half? <laughs> exactly. Sito, so she knew 34, 38. Now 38 on the side of Zaldana. 34 points of voorsprong that Darling had. And let glip it. I am sure that they will be able to make it right. I can see that from Saldana's coaching span and on, on the other hand, he will be very happy and hope that he will be so for the next 10 minutes. Because he was also in the first half of the first half with the high forsprong on the side of Darling. Yeah, it's quite a long stoppage, but uh, wherever you are watching around the, the country or globally, you are right here at the Club Rugby Live. Courtesy of, of course, the sponsorship behind this a prestigious uh, rugby tournament in the heart of the Western Cape of Buelant. Thank you to San Lam, to Santa, I'm a tacky town. I hope you have size 11 for my next sneakers for my birthday present coming up soon. And also, Umbro, not forgetting you as well. And Twizza, taste the fizz. Yeah, viewers, thank you to our sponsors. And you can all what the geleentheid so successful maak. Ons kan ook nie vergeet van die mense daar buiten die publiek nie. Op die veld en hopelik 
met die nieuwe borgen wat aan boord gekomen het bij Boland Rugby voor die volgende paar jaar gaan dit vir van die jong talent daar buiten net die extra motivering gee om die step up te maak en hulle self te bevind in die nationale of in die provinciale setups en voor en toe een groot succes daarvan kan maak. 100% and also Heinrich, just for those people who might not be uh, aware of what happens in the in the Borland region, especially with their rugby, can you just uh, just tell the viewers at home in terms of what this rugby uh, tournament means for the people of Borland? Ja, Sito, dit, dit beteken soveel vir die mense daar buiten. Soos jy sê, dat is een gemeenskap wat na week na na week stoor, stroom na die velde toe. Dit hou die jong mense wat met gangsterism betrokken raak, met, met die type goed. Dit, dit bring hulle weg, van, hou hulle weg uit die swakheid en die swak habits wat hulle opgebouw het. En dit bring net soveel meer hoop vir die toekomst vir die jong mense. En uh, John T. Lopsche take it off on the stretcher but back to the action though uh, Jedwin Robertson with another strong carry just getting close to the trial line pick and go is a call but uh, Sias makes a decision to uh, go out wide Sultana defense remain resolute Palo under pressure building phases slow ball though Sias doing the digging it's a flat pass to Marsh but well defended Robertson another carry the pick and go Darling looking to get back in this game so another slow ball, patient build up. So Dallas remaining strong, but are they strong enough? Short is the call. Darling looking to steal one back. There's acres of space on the outside. They're not seeing it, but the pass is made. My goodness. Well scattered, or rather, well scrambled is Sultana, but the losing ground is a Darling. Still in possession. See us. Looking for Marsh, another dominating tackle from Sultana. Chadwin, well met advantage is uh, Sultana. Holding on for dear life. Here we go, another straightened line from Ralph Daniels. Slow ball is the call. Going to either side, the captain, the scanner. Earl Lewis gets over the five meter line. See us with that flat pass to Marsh. What a beautiful pass. Well met on defense from Sultana. Not sure where the ball is going, but Lau Mathes will be happy to recollect. Not getting much meters though. Darling, looking to score here, Sorry. courtesy of Redford Adams. Short is the call, but we'll go back for the penalty. Breathtaking play. Yeah, weer eens, Darling, wat telt net een beetje te hoog gretig geraak het. Die lang aan geen naar buiten gegooi het. En die bal wat, hoe kan ik zeggen, die kans wat verloren gegaan het. Hou die bal voor, hou het kort. Je gaat toch naar een onkant betrappen en onder druk plaats. Quick tap is the call, and here we go. Charon sets up the pace. Darling, looking to score. Shapras right through. Darling has scored. Jedwin Fortain, the try scorer. We have a game in our hands. Darling does not want to give up without a fight. Here we go. Yeah, that's on the rimmer. Mooi rechtheid lijn na die Jedwin Fortain. Wat punten bijs het vir sy span. Hulle wat hier die voortouw neem. Maar ja, Darling sal wel seker maak hulle clown nou in die voortstroom. Tap is a call and here we go. Jedwin sets up the... Bepalend van die scheidsrechters tijd. Scheidsrechters zoals al sê, zal judge of time and fact, soos die lawboek sê. So ja, zal interessant wees om te zien wat Daling nou met die balbesit kon maak. Maar ja, sê toe, ons moet ook een paar mannen noem. Daar is een paar mannen wat so ver hand opgesteek het vir kandidaten vir man of the match. Oh. Je nog iemand aan jou kan? It's, uh, it's a tight one because from both teams we've, been, we've witnessed some sensational players, sensational individuals, but also in, in such difficult conditions uh, to play in. But I mean, at this point in time, I do have, uh, oh, it's a tough one, you're putting me on the spot here. Uh, I do have a Rodwell Yonkers that I'm uh, thinking of right now putting on for Saldana as uh, the man of the match, but I mean, of course, that anything can happen uh, before the end of this game, but uh, Rodwell Yonkers, for me, uh, has been the standout, especially uh, for the backline of Saldana. Yeah, I will with your arms step up here, but we are on the side of the Darling man. We have also a few candidates that I can see with John Samuels and Walden Maas. And so, even so, Earl Lewis, what the Parkers are on the oh, Samuel, Samuel was colossal in this first yeah. half. But uh, Darling in the half, 22. Here we go. It's 14 looking uh, to set matters underway. See us again to Lewis. Show and go. No out, no space to go out. See us again. Marshalling his charges. Mathes. Get the hand out. Saldana 
pummeling him on defense. So now the slow ball. Sias finds Jadwin. He is looking to end this game on a high, but uh, doesn't go through the defense. Of Saldana remaining resolute on defense. Sias takes the ball up and gets uh, to Chester Gordon. And here we go, a strong carry from Gideon Andrews. Does he get to have the ball? Yes, he does. Sias trying to slow it down. Here we go. Is uh, the big man uh, line Matthais uh, another strong carry? They are doing very well, just keep applying the pressure. Snowball, build the phases. Robinson wanted the ball, but it goes to Mission Fortain, who does very well to uh, secure that ball. See us again to Matthais. Goes back inside Matthais, but uh, Emil Boyson strong on his uh, defense. Here we go. Is uh, see us uh, marshalling his troops, uh, sends it straight to Wilden Marsh. Does very well to get away advantage line. Marsh. Presents the ball. Going same side. Here we go again. Matthais with another carry. They are ready, but has been held up. What a strong character as a Gareth, Gareth Harza. Darling, still in position. No, they turn it over. Fifers gets the ball, but the ref is going to get them back for offside. How close was that? Ten over the half is in the kant of Saldana, what mooi terug and fake it on my ball after the name there. So, we see to so for it was the defense at Afslate. Nochman, what was can numerous Jaden Lewis, the number 11 of Saldana. Prachtige 2 3 gedruk in the second half. What a good spell there on the kant of Saldana. 100%. Jaden Lewis is also a player who has been standing out today for Saldana. There's just a lot of talent that we have witnessed today. That's why it's a bit difficult to call as to who deserves it the most because all of the ones that we have mentioned, all of them, they deserve it. But speaking of deserving, Matthijs gets the ball back after Saldana losing that line out and conceding a penalty. Yeah, yeah. Your side entry is the call. Darling will be happy with that uh, result. Some tired bodies on the field. <laughs> We have uh, Fortain and uh, <laughs> Robinson, the two of the biggest for Darling, still down. So, two or three minutes to in this crash meeting. It is now the first time I've been But I'm sure of it. They will go to the spiker in the Dutch slam on the side of Saldana. But yeah, again, 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 what a good turnaround on the side of Saldana. What the wind is using in the second half. And uh, Darling with the penalty. You could just tell that the second half they were going to struggle as they are playing against the winner in the second half. And I mean, of course, you see the scoreboard. It's quite telling. It's a kick, uh, finding touch. Is JP Abrahams. He was going, to, I'm sure he was hoping to get more meters, but uh, this win is ferocious today. But uh, they do have the throw in, the advantage in the line out. Chadwin Robertson making his way to get that ball. My former teammate at Hamilton's. With the throw, he finds his jumper. And here we go, is Darling with the rolling ball. Niels Solomon did very well to get that ball, but Sias looking to get his charges back into the play. Rolling ball still commences. Saldana has to be careful not to go to the side. Doing very well to try and stop it. Use it once is the call, but Darling are using it and going forward as they're trusting their systems. The refer still looking to play. Earl Lewis almost wanted that ball. But Henrik Rolas has been fairly quiet today with a rare opportunity with the ball. Sias slowing matters down to 14. Well met by Saldana's captain, Divan Joshua. Here we go, is Saldana slowing the ball down, trying to work their meters, trying to slow it down just to uh, get the time ticking. But Saldana pushing them backwards, dominating the collisions. Sias to Matthijs. Here we go. That is Chester Gordon, rather. Sias. Here we go. It is Andrews. Another strong tackle, but a phenomenal hit again. Emil Boyson remaining strong on defense. Sias finding Marsh, but not getting much meters. 
Looks like it will be the game where the ref has his arm out though. Andrews with another strong hit to get over the halfway line. You see us looking to dig it, but we'll go back to their penalty advantage. Looks like there's a, there's a slight momentum shift here. They'll be thinking of which decision should they take, but of course uh, the proper decision would be either a scrum or down and out touchline. Yeah, but Varian's is not going to be able to get the ball out of Saldana, man, he's going to be able to get the ball out of the ball. Now it's the darling that he'll be able to get the last few seconds from the crack meeting out. But Varian sees that we have to also Eer gee aan die scheidsrechter in span. Die scheidsrechter en sy assistente wat hierdie game baie baie goed hanteer het. Geen voorval in hierdie game nie. Geen manne wat mekaar gerik en plik het nie. En dit is ook altyd een goeie teken van hoe Reva game hanteer. See us, dig for it. It's a strong point in it. And here we go with Chester Gordon. Strong on his feet. See us slowing it down, showing his experience. Straight to uh, Fortain. He's ready. The other Fortain. And this one is a genuine over the team. Michelin, they go. Uh, see us showing his experience. Marsh again bumps off the would be defender. I hope he's okay. That is uh, Legan uh, Jacobs uh, substitute for Saldana. Yo, here we go. Darling slowing it down. Just maintaining their phases. Andrews with another strong run. They are trusting their structures right now. They're all packed up to one side and kicks it out is Ethan Sias. And that is the game. Darling, their first ever victory in Saldana. Saldana, their first ever loss at home. It's all happening in the Salam Boiland Top 12. It looks like a Boiland, or rather, Darling has their campaign back on track. For Saldana, though, it's back to the drawing board, but what a game! What a game! Yes, see, to net, you know, that new water weight straight, it was not a singing. Gelijk of darling, weg haar club is die kracht meer dan toe in die tweede helft. En hier die mannen van Saldana teruggeslaan. En weer hier op een of andere wedstrijd, heet die mannen van darling teruggekomen. Die wedstrijd beklank. En hulle maak seker hulle vat die die vijf punte weg uit die game uit. En ja, dit is soveel goeie aanvallende rugby wat ons gesien het vandag. Hier al by spanne wat die wind achter hulle rug gehad het. Maar wees jou net weer eens wat jy kan doen as jy die bal besit hou. En nie onnodige balle rondgooi nie. Maar jo, prachtige rugby weer eens. Al skouwelike rugby. Een groot telling weer aan al bij kanten wat ons gezien het. Maar yes, dit wees jou net die type spel wat ons hier in die Boland top 12 rugby sien. Enige manse wees het op die einde van die dag. En dit is net wie van die kansen die beste kan gebruik. En die minste ongedwongen foute kan maak daar zo. Maar ja, weer eens baie baie geluk aan die manne van Dalek wat hier aan sal dat toe gereis het. Hulle beklink hierdie wedstrijd, 41 punte teen oor 38 aan die kant van Saldana. Maar ja, volg ons binnen die volgende paar sekondes, paar minute, wanneer ons onderhoudig gaan voel, voel hier so met die stand-out player of the match, en ook met die kapteine van beide spanne. Tot weersiens. Welkom. To the game of life. At kickoff, it's nil-nil. What you do next decides the result. Make a good decision, you're ahead. Make a mistake, you're chasing. You need a good plan and a great team behind you. Live a life of confidence, today and every day. Who are we? We are the alarm at 4.30 a.m. We are practice before school and after work. We are fitness goals. We are goals. We are focused. Balanced. Relentless. 
We are real. And real sees real. We are you.
One, one, one. We good. Okay, so.
Can you can you can you come closer, yeah, baby? Yeah. Oh, this wind. <laughs> so we're talking with. So, yeah, Jaden Williams, Jaden Lewis. Jaden Lewis. Sorry, what's your game? What do you want? I don't know. Okay. Jaden Lewis, yeah. Jaden Marsh. And then it's your man of the match. So, starting with Jaden Lewis. Jaden Marsh and then with Jaden Lewis. Yeah. Take it down, Dad. Who wants to take it down, Dad? Yeah. yeah, that's for them. We are busy with the, with the standard players of the game and then the man of the match and the coach. Uh, uh, then the two. Yeah, okay. then the, 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 the yeah. control. Yeah, so control. first those two of the women are waiting. One, two. Can you hear me? Come, let's go, let's go. Come, let's go, let's go. Where, where Just give me a thumbs up when you want us to go live. Are we live? Are we live? Just give me a thumbs up if we're live. Let's go, ladies. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yo. So fucking cold, mate. Let's start with the bro. And then I, 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 I want to guide yeah. them for you. I want to guide them for you. You're gonna start. You're gonna start with. Concentrate the word. You wanna give it to. Uh, okay, Roger and then the two take it down players. Then two take it down players. And then the two captains. And then the losing captain and burning captain. Give me a thumbs up when we. What an exciting end to the second round of the Sun Lama Poorland Top 12 Tournament. I mean, if you missed it today, then you missed out on a lot of interesting rugby. What started off a bit awkward for the home side, uh, Saldana trailing significantly in the first half and having the power and the pride and the fans behind them to come back in the second half, almost snatching it, but darling, were the favorites today. But of course, as we proceed further, the second round is done in Dusty Rocha and Saldana Bay. I'll be joined by uh, the Sun Lama confident uh, uh, player of the day, which is belonging to, uh, come closer, Rodwell Junkers. He had a phenomenal game, a sensational game, and no scorers try for himself quickly. What were your thoughts in this game so far? What made you play so well? Um, yes, I'm going to say that for the young ones, for the young ones, I'm unlucky for Darling, one of the players that I've got. Game-wise, uh, yes, the first half, I was a little bit of a field point, I've got a lot of kick. Um, Twee after ons het gevit die van gaan ons jaap ons ons het gevit ons gaan ons gaan kampen kom, maar aan lucky bij de laatste de seizoen wat ons maak als als individuals denk ik ons kan verbeteren en ik zie kan ons het verbeteren komen voor de volgende game te spelen. 100% well said there, Manier. So now, now that you guys have never lost at home, will this defeat for the first time in your guys' history, will it cause any damage for the progress of the tournament? Um, Galati, I thank um, ons kan for better up next week, or is well weg. So is can van range up to I think we can buy better up spiel. Um but the ice, yeah, it's all the tough you know, but I still I think 
Um, ja, hij is altijd die favoriet in. Um, is die eerste keer wat hij nog wel loopt. Die ja, met die league kan er sluit. Um, ik denk ons kan. Next, nee, um, next week kan het zo bitter en net volgende week. 100%. En so just a, a, lo, a last word for the, the sake of, of the team. Is there any message that you want to share uh, with your teammates as well as the people that are supporting you today? Um, ik wil net zeggen dank je voor de coaches, uh, management, die ouders behind the scenes. Ik denk alle was awesome. Voor uh, de players, tough luck. Ik denk dat altijd de next week ongelukkig het ons besiering gaat in of gelukkig het ons besiering gaat in. So, ons komt next week met een nieuwe ingesteld, een nieuwe mindset. Uh, en dan kom, kom geniet de game. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And that is the Sun Lama Confident Player of the Day, Rodwell Yonkers from Saldana. Thank you very much and congratulations. All the best for this tournament. Thank you very much. And also now we're going to be joined. We're going to be joined by the Techie Town Players of the Day, starting with the visiting team, Wilden Marsh. Breaks the line. Wilden Marsh scores the try. Brother? Yes, boss. How is that? What is happening today? Yes, for me, we're going to win the game. And we're going to win the game, brother. Yeah, see, I'm also trying to find out what pre-workout do you use, bro? Because the way you play today, it looked like there's some fire burning. Yeah, I'll fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, lovely stuff. So, tell us about the game today. How did you guys almost lose it in the second half? Yeah, I think we was a swag beginning at first. And we had to come back to the first half. We had to wake up cold and get out of how we want to play, how we want to play, how we want to play, how we want to play. And that's what we did. And I could have been able to win the game. We had to come with a positive mindset to Saldana. 100% by Rangi Mebo. So now, now that you guys have never won here in Saldana Bay, is there something that maybe happened during the week that made you guys want to win here today? Because there, there was a lot of pressure. Yeah, we were very hard at us because we lost it in Austin last week. So we have to win come to win the race to win the to play the final in Wellington. Oh, 100%. So what's next for Darling? Oh, uh, Robinson. Robinson Town. The, the mood, the feeling. Are you guys going to take it back home? We're gonna win it. Woohoo! Here we go. Well, Din Marsh, Tacky Town, a player of the day. Thank you very much and all the best for the remainder of the tournament. Thank you, Bosnia. That is uh, Well, Din Marsh, and uh, of course, as uh, the dignitary. So today I was uh, called the dignitary today. The Boland president, Mr. Benny van Rooyen, was not here today. So I'll be handing over the 500 Rand voucher courtesy of a Tacky Town to our Tacky Town player of the day, Well, Din Marsh. Thank you so much. Thank you, all the best. And uh, of course, uh, we all win here. Rugby won today. And of course, uh, we have another winner in uh, Jaden Lewis. He's also the Tacky Town player of the day. Jaden Lewis, Diplas, Stefan Diplas. How are you feeling today after this game? Um, it's a bit disappointing for us as a team um, to work hard to secure the comeback. But at the end, we couldn't um, finish it. No, 100%. I can tell that you're very disappointed. It shows the passion, the emotion within the sport. That's what we love to see. But then, of course, just tell us in the second half, what was said in the changing room that made you guys change and switch up in the second half? Um, we played with the plane. Um, the first half didn't go so well. Um, then the guys, um, it was actually a mindset thing. Then the guys changed their mindset and come for darling. Now 100%. And now the next week will be the round three. Are you looking to bounce back? And I mean, what will change from uh, next week that you guys did uh, today? Uh, definitely, we will bounce back next week. Uh, we're playing against Eagles uh, in Van Rijnsdorp. Uh, so yeah, going to bounce back. No, I love the positivity, bouncing back. I mean, that's uh, the part of the game. You you fall twice, you get up three times. And, of course, you do uh, thoroughly deserve the Tacky Town player of the day, Jaden Lewis. Thank you very much. You are going to be receiving a Tacky Town public Rand voucher, courtesy of one of our major sponsors, a Tacky Town. Here we go. This one belongs to you. Thank you so much. All the best for the rest of the season. Woo! So much excitement, so much finesse, so much drama in the second round of the Boland Top 12 tournament. But we are not done yet. We're just crossing over to the leaders of the team. If I can please have the losing captain. Yeah, if I can have the losing captain, Divan Johnson from uh, Sultana, the Grootman. <laughs> good, good. I mean, the game started off and you guys were back against, you had your backs against the wall. But second off, you came back super strong with the wind behind you. Was there something different that you guys did in the second off? Op die dag, dan kijk, ons het te veel fouten gemaakt. Zij alles was laatst week, die score is tijd. Zo hij clinical, die fouten wat ons maakt, het was een game gekoos. 
So, ons glo ons, ons nog nie uit die competitie uit nie. Daar is die drie games oor. Die spanner wat voorop die lokas kan ook een loos vat. So, ons moet die laatste drie games gaan vir vijf punte. So, hy is vijftien punte. 100%. Oh, sorry about that. So now, um, what is it that is different that you did this week that you didn't do last week? Because we are aware of the fact that last week you almost snatched it against uh, Robertson Town. So what did you guys do differently this week to try and uh, win this game? Uh, nee, ons, ons, ons benader elke week is jelde. So, ons doen nie altans iets different. Ons, 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 al wat ons doen, ons analyse die team en ons speel according to die teams' strengths. Yeah. So, ons target alle strengths. Hy is wat ons doen, ja. So ons gaan nou van Reinsdorp toe, hy is ouwens wat die games analyse, so ons sal op van Reinsdorp sy so, so, steekpunte gaan ons target, ja. Now 100%, and of course it's never nice being on the losing side of a game, especially after your home crowd, but if there any, is there anything that you'd like to say for those that are bravely the win here today, that giving us treacherous conditions right in Saldana Bay, is there any words of encouragement and support and thanks uh, for the fans of Saldana Bay? Ja, ek wil net dankie sê vir die jimmelse vader man, wat, wat was die krachtie om elke week die sports te kan beoefen en dat daar niks ernstige besering sal sê, hy man van daling, hy weet hoe ons enkel gebruik as die steek te daar mm, mm. en dan wil die supporters wat elke week achter ons staan, baie dankie man as ons een bykie taf vir ons, ons is een span wat confident is, ons is een span wat wen maar ons het julle nou nodig na buiten, stiek achter die manne en, en glo, ons kan dit doen man, dankie Yo, talking about the proper leadership, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the, the captain of the home side, uh, right, Shane Sultana. Thank you very much and all the best uh, for the rest of the tournament. All the best. All right, folks, now we just left uh, with uh, the winner. They call him Earl Lewis, the scanner, and the fans go berserk. <laughs> Lewis? Yeah, it looks like you're a crowd favorite away from home, eh? <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Uh, just firstly, thank you to the Heavenly Father for the opportunity. Um, and obviously the victory. Uh, you know, without him, we, we, we couldn't get that done. Last week, obviously, I was on the losing side with, with one point, so I obviously feel for Nomi. Um, but hey, uh, this is rugby. You have to, it's one, one guy will win, one guy will lose. It is what it is. And, uh, and, 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 and fortunately for us, we're on the winning side today. <laughs> 100%. And I mean, of course, I mean, they do say that uh, last year was a mistake. Last year was just practice play today we just dominate was that your mantra for today for winning here for the first time in your history yeah i think it was it, it, it's always been a call for us to obviously win here over the last two years uh the year before last i think we lost 18 16 and last year we drew 16 16 yeah. so we knew sometime it wasn't gonna come it had to come you know we, we obviously come here and we obviously fight hard uh we obviously respect saldana as a team as a club as, as what they're doing at the club is, is obviously very big and, and obviously we strive towards that um so so for us to, to come here and obviously get a W, it's massive for the team, it's massive for the club, it's massive for the community. 100%. And just before I let you go, what is it that you guys did differently this week compared to last week? Because I had the pleasure of commentating that game and you almost had it, and I mean, losing it in the end there. So, what, what, what is it, the, the difference that you did uh, this week? Yeah, I think uh, just with regards to the preparation this week, a little bit, our preparation was much better this week. Um, obviously, we knew we were playing Saldana, um, and, and with us and Saldana, it's always, almost like a derby type of, type of game. Uh, we obviously get along quite well, so, so it's difficult to play against each other, but when we do play against each other, obviously, you want to win. You know, so our prep was a bit better this week, and, and I think our composure on the field, uh, especially that last uh, five minutes of the game, just to, to stay composed, stick to our structure, stick to our process, and and to get the W over the over the road. 100%. Just before I let you go, you can see here with the support uh, that we have some faithfuls are still staying here and to support. What does this win mean for Darling? I think for the community, it's massive. Like I said, we haven't won yet in, in the past, uh, especially since this new stadium's been built. Uh, so it's massive for the community. You know, uh, obviously a small town like Darling beating a. a, a uh, a mega a mega club like like Saldana and obviously the back to back Bolan champions you know uh, away from home that's massive for the community 100% and this banner pianist is also getting excited it yeah, looks like everyone wants to touch here Mr. Lewis of course uh, ladies and gentlemen the captain Earl Lewis the scanner representing a darling all the way from darling and having a W right here in Saldana for the first time in the history thank you so much for joining us and all the best for the rest of the tournament 100% and now we're gonna have a we got some two cutie patooties who won the Techie Town Dash Award. If you can please have them come forward. They look uh, quite nervous, but they were not nervous when they were running for the voucher. Firstly, hello, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Please tell the people that are watching back at home what's your name and how old you are and what grade you're doing. My name is Chanel McCurry. I'm 10 years old and I'm grade 4 D. Oh, so adorable. And now quickly, and it looks like you have your older brother representing Saldana. What's your name, youngster? Peter Junior. And what grade are you doing? How old you are? I'm 13 years old. I'm doing grade 7. So are you guys the fastest in your schools? 
No. no. <gasps> but you won the Tacky Town Dash. Because not all of us are here. We have a future Mrs. South Africa over here. <laughs> 100%. So thank you very much for the tip for joining and also participating in the Tacky Town Dash Award. And you walk away with uh, a Tacky Town voucher of 250 Rand. Are you going to buy Barbie dolls? Are you going to buy Barbie stuff at Tacky Town? Maybe Barbie sneakers? <laughs> And uh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the winner of the Tacky Town Dash as well as the youngster right next to him also walks away with the Tacky Town 250 Rand voucher courtesy of one of the major sponsors, Tacky Town. Thank you so much. Apparently they were the fastest today. Jaden Lewis, though, was caught napping in his wake. Thank you very much uh, for joining us and all the best. All right, so I'll be joined by my partner in Crown to close off matters. So quickly, before we take much longer, thoughts of the game? What can we say? Rugby from the two half to see two. As we've seen, the Haling had a heavy forsprong for 34 points in the five half time. Gevat. Two days after, Sal Dana terugslaan, die wind ook gebruik. Teruggeveg, forsprong gekry van vier van 34 points. En op einde net die laaste drie aan die kant van Daling wat die doodskis gespeeld en die doodskis geslaan het. En alle die vijf punten wat lees toe vat. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, no, it was indeed a game of two halves, of course. I mean, one one half you thought Darling was just going to walk all over Saldana. And then, of course, second half, it completely changed. A huge contrast of what happened in the second half with the win behind Saldana. So, are we experiencing the same fun in next week? I think we're going to definitely see more of the same type of rugby in the Bolandse top 12. We've seen Roses, who won 30-32 in Robertson today. Safko, who won a big hard club with all the games in the Lysia. So, I think with the 5-4 games that we've got off, there are a few surprises. There are a few games that we've got in the Nelskar, but we've also got a lot of tellings. Stalling, who won two games in a row, a lot of tellings. So, come on, I think next week, Stalling, who won a hard game, is going to be in Robertson Town. And also the men of Saldana are going to go to Reinsdorp. So, we will see, it's going to be interesting to see what you can do all by yourself. Closing remarks for the viewers at home? Yeah, I think we will all agree with them that this was one of the best wedstrijders so far in the top 12. But there is so much more that we can see. And I think also that Boland top 12 will go from kracht to kracht. 100%. There you have it from our co-commentator Heinrich Goos. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon in the West Coast where Saldana was playing host to the Travelling Darling who happened to win for the first time in the history right here in the home of Darling. But don't go anywhere. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And of course share the positive vibes of Club Rugby on YouTube and also other social media uh, platforms as well. Now, well, that's it for this afternoon for round two of the Sunlava Borland Top Top Tournament. Catch you next week. Welcome to the game of life. At kickoff, it's nil-nil. What you do next decides the result. Make a good decision, you're ahead. Make a mistake, you're chasing. You need a good plan and a great team behind you. Live a life of confidence, today and every day.